the products have been developed over many years. Initially, when I first used the product, it was used uh, for atopic eczema, and there was only one uh, cream that we used at that time. Um, uh, one of my patients came back to say that uh, the atopic eczema cream was good, and uh, it was good for the treatment of psoriasis. So that's when I got involved in psoriasis. I, I got a, organized a number of patients who had psoriasis to do a small clinical trial to evaluate whether the products were really, really good. But at that time, there was only one product. The results for, from the psoriasis small trial that I did were pretty good, but not, a lot of, not, not all the patients cleared up. Some patients still had a number of lesions left over. And then I started thinking, well, why is it that some patients had cleared up, but some hadn't? So that's when I started thinking, well, maybe it's, it has to do with the severity of the lesions. If the lesions are very, very thick, then maybe the, the cream is not working very well. And the cream is not getting in, into the lesions. It was just sitting on top of the lesions. And that's when I thought, well, it would be useful to develop a cleansing gel, a gel that would exfoliate and get rid and peel off all the dead skin. So I did that. And it took about six months to seven months to come up with something that was reasonable. So that's how the cleansing gel was developed. So I got those patients back into the clinic, those who hadn't cleared up, and then used the cleansing gel first, and then put the ointment on afterwards. And of course the results were much, much better. Most of them cleared up. The skin conditioner came about because a number of patients said, look, uh, it's very flaky, I've got a lot of flakiness. Even if after I put the ointment on, after about two or three hours, it's still dry and flaky. Can you come up with something to keep it moist? So that's when I decided I needed something to encapsulate, to seal the lesions, to keep the lesions uh, uh, moist. And that's how the, the skin conditioner came about, and that's how the three products came about. The, the, the atopic eczema cream, like I said, the ointment that I had before, I'd had it for a number of years. So that particular ointment I've had for you know six or seven years before I started treating psoriasis with it. The cleansing gel and uh, the skin conditioner took another, uh, probably another two years to, to develop something that I was really, really happy with. But although the ointment, I've been using the ointment for many years now, I did modify it, refine it, changed it in the past 10 years. So it's taken many years. I've been involved in this business for over 25 years now. The treatment is very, very safe. Uh, the products have got, um, like it's a combination of fruit acid complexes, organic acids, essential oils, uh, herbal materials. So the products are very, very safe to use. There are small side effects. Some patients complain that there is a little bit of itchiness or burning and folliculitis, which is small pimples on the skin. But normally in most cases, about two weeks later after the, the start of the treatment, it clears up anyway. Uh, there are many side effects with corticosteroids, so we treat a lot of children. We treat a lot of psoriasis patients with, uh, with children with psoriasis. We treat a lot of children with atopic eczema. So we treat many, many, ch uh, about, I would say about 30% of my patients will be children. And also I treat a lot of patients, uh, pregnant women who have bad psoriasis or patients who have had children and after they have children normally they have a flare-up so I treat them even while they're breastfeeding. In a lot of cases uh, there is a strong link with the hormones so uh, a lot of women especially in the third trimester of pregnancy their skin improves a fair bit however after they have children about four to six weeks later there is a ch because the hormones change again there is normally a flare-up. Well, it's interesting that my theory is almost identical to Professor Novotny and we are miles and miles apart. Um, we both believe that stress plays a big role in it, hormones play a big role in it, uh, injury to the skin, Kobner phenomenal, rubbing, pressure points, injury can, can start a flare-up, infections, bad viral infections, uh, 
uh, bronchitis, um, streptococcal infections, anything like that can cause a flare-up. And of course, drug and drug reactions can cause a flare-up. You take a, a particular drug for one thing and the side effects of that drug flare up the psoriasis. Like a, th there is a type of psoriasis called psoriatic arthritis. It's a form of arthritis. Obviously with arthritis, the joints are crippled, so the patient is in pain. So normally the patients take an anti-inflammatory. However, with an anti-inflammatory, the side effect of an anti-inflammatory is it causes the skin to flare up, unfortunately. Normally a patient uh, start the treatment and uh, start getting some improvement about seven to 10 days. And in most cases, in the majority of cases, about eight to 10 weeks, most of the lesions should clear up. It, it lasts depending on the individuals. If uh, you are fortunate not to encounter uh, a number of triggers or provoking factors, then you can get long remission periods. Some, patient, some of my patients have had four or five years of remission. But at the same time, I've had patients who have cleared up and three months later they have a flare-up again because they might have a bad viral infection or a sore throat. It depends whether there is a provoking factor around. I've been researching psoriasis for many, many years. It goes back to the early 80s. So I've looked at different types of psoriasis. I've looked at uh, different provoking factors of psoriasis. I've basically spent um, half of my life really re researching psoriasis, looking at provoking factors, looking at diet. I believe diet plays a big role in psoriasis. I, as I mentioned to you before, there are other provoking factors. So it's been a, a lifelong thing and it, it, I strive to improve on the treatment that I have because I believe in helping the patients. I have sleepless nights thinking about how I could improve to help the patients. Well, look, uh, everybody's got a market out there. I mean, there are many products out there. Some products are very, very effective. I mean, corticosteroid is effective in a lot of ways. Unfortunately, it also has some side effects. But there are other products we, which are effective. The biologics are effective. But again, they have side effects and they are very expensive. Um, I, I concentrate more on what I do, what my treatment does. I'm not really concentrating on what other people do, what their treatments do, because it's not ethical to discuss other people's treatments. I've never felt any pressure from pharmaceutical companies. I think overall the pharmaceutical companies has always looked at us as an alternative or complementary dermatology clinic. We're not a huge multinational. We've got 24 clinics in Australia. It's a franchise system. So we're not multinational. And we're not a big fish in America where we're selling millions and millions of dollars worth of products. Uh, I haven't had any pressure from any one of them to sell the business. Um, and uh, I'm happy to keep my business anyway because I've got full control of what I'm doing. The whole purpose of why I'm here is to help patients. In a lot of cases in, with the big national companies, you, they could buy your company but then they could shelf it so the products do not get to the patients. Now we haven't got registration of, uh, of our products in, in Europe. Uh, as you would know, uh, to register a product is a very expensive business. You know, it's a multi-million dollar business. As I mentioned to you before, we are a very small company, so we do not have the funding to undertake such a big uh, investment. That's why it hasn't been registered. At the moment, I get, I've got understanding from Frankel Pharma that they are uh, pursuing the registration of this product, and uh, there will be later on, if not this year, early next year, uh, a major clinical trial that would um, provide information and all the required information, statistical analysis that would be done to show that the products work on a large scale in a multi-centered trial and hopefully then the products will get registered as a full medicine. I hope once the, patient, the products are registered as a full medicine that a number of insurance companies will, will uh, sub subsidize the treatment so that most patients out there who suffer from psoriasis will have the chance to use this wonderful product. Product.
so far I understand there have been two clinical trials or attestation studies that have been done in the, in the Czech Republic. There was one done last year on adults and this year there's been one done on, uh, on, on children and both results show an 80-82% success. Uh, these are the results that I've been having for years and years. Uh, we've done uh, a number of clinical trials in Austria, in Hungary, in Russia and all the results have been in the 80 percent so it's, it's just confirming how good the products are. We, we treat atopic eczema, we treat uh, numular eczema, we treat seborrheic dermatitis, we treat a lot of fungal infections, we treat candidiasis, we treat pityriasis, we treat ichthyosis, so there are many different conditions and sometimes it's very surprising to myself that these products are very good in the treatment of many other skin conditions.